Hello, good evening, guys. Charlie, I can see that you are ready. Hello, good evening. Yes, teacher. Everything okay, Charlie? Everything okay. Okay, that's fine. Charlie, uh, Estoy... yes. Tell me. ¿Cuál es la palabra que menciona de tardista? Ah, uh, late, no, late comer. La otra es procrastinator. Procrastinate es cuando hacen ah, las cosas no, últimas. No, no. Uh -huh. Last time. When you do ah, the okay. Time, last time. Okay, procrastinate. Okay. Yeah, that usually <laughs> happens. That okay. usually happens. Uh, relax. I guess um, we have those, uh, we have some, some things to do. And we do it at the last time, so that's okay. Charlie, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Where do you live? Can you tell me where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? In Napopa. Oh, really? I okay. okay, that's good. Is it hot in there, right? Hot. Es caliente, right? Sí. Yes, kind of, yes. Well, uh, thanks, Charlie. Here we have uh, Carito. Good evening, Carito. Hello, there. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I can see that you are in a different part of your house because that wall, the wall, la pared, is different, right? So. Uh, no. No. Yes. No. Sometimes you are in another room. Well. Uh, lo, le doy vuelta la. <laughs> Ah, okay, you turn the camera. Okay, that, that's the solution. That's the solution. Okay, that's good. Thanks. Uh, Susie, hello. Anna, you look uh, different with Hi, that hair. Hi, teacher. I like that flow. That, that's the attitude. Obviously. Thank you. Yes. Uh, ¿Quién fue el que dijo antes muerta que sencilla? I don't remember who said that. Eh, sí, no recuerdo. Eh, yeah. Ah, you, no, Susie, no, you no, are. No, 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 no. You are the inventor. No. <laughs> okay. Well, you look great, Susie. That, 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 that's, that's the flow. You got it. Okay. Here we have also um, Mercy. Hello, Mercy. Hello, Good evening. Um, how are you doing? Good. Are you better now? Good. Better, better. Yes. Well, uh, I, I, I like it. I, I like to. To hear that okay that's good here we have also jasmine that uh, she is uh, i guess she's all right right jasmine everything good excuse me are you okay everything okay yes a little busy because i uh, today the baby and i we visit my mom oh okay mm -hmm. So in yes, house. <laughs> uh, you, you have to move. You have to move to, to your yes. mother's house. Yes. yes, and I know it is not easy when you have a baby, you have to take care. Yes, uh, that. yes it's a uh, little complicated. Yes, but well, uh, I like to hear that you are a responsible mom and you are a very <laughs> nice mom. Okay, perfect, uh, Jasmine. Okay, um, we're going to start. Uh, because I want to advance and take advantage of the time. So um, uh, here we have an easy topic that we have a, a study, uh, we have already studied previously. I remember that was the, the no, it, it wasn't the last course, it was the previous, okay? Uh, the previous course, I guess it was number two, when we studied can and could, right? I guess it was, uh, course number two, but uh, we're going to make a review about this, and this is the class uh, number seven. But first, tell me, when was the last time you argue? When I say argue, is that you fight, but not with your punches. You fight with your tongue, with your vocabulary, okay? Because you can discuss, but uh, discuss is talk about something. Discuss is talk about something, okay? And you can debate and that's okay. You can share opinions. 
And even uh, you, you can talk over that it's similar, okay? Discuss, debate, talk over, it's share opinions. But argue is when you are kind of mad or maybe you are, let me see, upset, molesto, or angry, okay? So that's the difference. That's the difference because you can discuss a topic, you can discuss a situation, you can debate, okay? But when you argue, it's because you are mad, you are upset and angry. I know that you are angels. All of you are innocent angels and you don't like to fight. I know that you don't like to argue. You don't get mad or upset or angry. I know. But, but sometimes we argue. So, Susie is the first one. Tell me, when was the last time you argued? The last time? Ah, uh, teacher. Five, five Lady... minutes ago? <laughs> Lately, I try not to argue anymore. Uh, maybe once a time, perhaps once a month when I'm not in the mood. Okay, 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 okay. Relax. Chill out, chill out. Uh, the last time, just tell me the last time. The last month? Uh, yes. La última vez <laughs> que peleaste? Uh, two weeks ago. Okay, two weeks. Okay, okay. Stop, stop it, stop it. With who? Mm -hmm. Okay, don't Only tell me. No, 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 tell me. Too much information. Too much information. Okay, now let's listen to Mercy. Mercy looks very angelical face. Okay, I know that you are not angry, right, Mercy? Okay, what was the last time? La última vez que pelearon. Solo eso, digo. Just that. Uh, hace, ¿cómo se dice? Hace... Ago, mm -hmm. solo que ago, al final. Hace tres años. Three years ago. Mercy. No, no le creo. Ah, no nobody creemos. believes it. Nobody. Nah, ¿Cómo va a creer que hace tres años? ¿De que fuera el teacher? Ok. ¿De discutir? Sí. <laughs> ok. Yes, but argue is not fight. Argue is like, bueno, argue es como cuando nosotros le llamamos discutir aquí en español. Ya. Yeah. A eso se le llama. Ajá. Argue is cuando tú discutes, but obviously you're not going to say nasty words or 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 yes or, or vocabulary like out of out of order. No van a decir malas palabras tampoco. Pueden hacerlo. <laughs> Pero eh, a eso se refieren. So la, la última vez que peleaste, digamos, verbalmente. Eso es argue. Mm. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Oh, sorry. Charlie. Yeah, son. I'm sorry. Uh, fine. Five years. Mercy no sale peor. Wow, creer que hace cinco. I don't think so, Mercy. Be honest, sé honesta, Mercy. <laughs> okay. De discutir verbalmente, o sea, fuerte. A eso se refiere. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Eh, sinceramente sí. Casi okay. no me gusta discutir. Peace and love. Okay. Dedos el secreto. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Okay. Solo cuando Five estoy years muy ago. enojada. <laughs> Eres. Solo cuando estoy muy enojada. Por eso, that's why I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> okay, okay. Three or five years. Charlie, and then Maritza. Uh, I don't remember the last time. Come on. I know that you do. Yes, because. Sí. Yeah few years eh, a couple of example, years eh, 10 years ago 10 years Dalai Lama okay 10 years ago okay como de Buda hecho, de hecho de hecho mi esposa eh, dice que le molesta eso que yo no discuto really eh, maybe she needs uh, more action in her life <laughs> So you need to get angry. <laughs> uh, what? Frequently. Okay. Necesitas más. Okay. Más poder. Okay. Thank you, Charlie. Maritza. And then we go with Carmencita. Uh, hello. Um, I argued um, 30 minutes ago. 
30 minutes ago, wow, that that is a record. <laughs> okay, 30 minutes. But now you are calm? You are under calm? Or you are still angry? You are still upset no, now? I'm no, not. no. It's no, no. Okay, okay, yes. good. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Carmencita and then Diana. Mm, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carmencita. The last week. The last week. With yes. Who? Tell me. With my children. With, okay, you were you were mad or angry, okay? Okay, complaining, okay, good. And no Carmen me imagino, Carmencita, enojada, en serio, no me oh. imagino. <laughs> no, right, Carmen? No habían hecho las tareas y ya yes. están las no, últimas. No, you are right, you are right. Si estás en lo correcto. Y yo preguntaba, y decía, sí, 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 y cuando vine a revisar, Mírenla, mm -mm. mírenla, cómo se muestra. Mm -mm. Okay, okay, Carmencita, I understand you. Thanks. Eh, Diana and then Caro. Nada, Dianita. Mm. Today. Today, okay. Eh, with a, with a, your family, with a friend. No. With your ex, uh, with... No. Eh, with my. Co-workers, co uh, yeah, that usually happens. Pero no es mi compañera, sino que es, digamos, Sí, iba a decir ahí, cariño. Oh. Okay, no, okay. es una persona de, del trabajo. Yes, that usually happens, and, and that makes a, the environment very, what, very, I don't know, um, disgusting, but, okay, I understand you, that happens to me, well, but, long time ago. Okay, Carito, and then we go with uh, Damari. <laughs> now, in afternoon. Now, with Diana, okay, I'm sorry. No, okay. No, it was a, <laughs> at work. Okay. Uh, with, um, com, with partner, partners? With partners, yes, that usually happens. Uh huh. Uh, remember that our uh, workplace are are part of our lives. So yes, I understand. Thanks, uh, Damari. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Damari. We are, we are talking about the last time we argue. Just tell me the last time. Today. I think I think every night. <laughs> every night. With your husband, because, with your family, no, with, your, with, with your cat. With my brother. With your brother. What happened with your brother? Yes. Because I I went to sleep and he making a lot of noise. Uh, like a lot of noise. Okay. Yeah, that, that that's uncomfortable. Sometimes we need peace. After a hard day, we need uh, to be relaxed, yes. And sometimes yes, the family I... doesn't contribute. I, <laughs> I understand that, yes, yes. Okay, fine. Uh, let's listen to um, Marlon and then Helen. Hello, Marlon, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, Marlon, we are talking about the last time we argue. Argue is... is uh... Uh, okay, argue is when you uh, are mad, upset, or angry. Es como pelear verbalmente, discutir fuertemente. Mm, Eso es argue. Yes. Because mm. discuss, debate, talk over is when you share opinions, but argue is like of heavier. Le podemos decir pelear así, verbalmente. Yes, como pelear, pelear. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I really don't remember, teacher. I think... Uh, uh, Mm, I really don't remember. Maybe two months ago or three months. Or two, okay. Where the last time I argue. You are, uh, you are very calm, firm, so run, very quiet. You are relaxed. Of course, I am. <laughs> I am some a, li a little, a little angry. Angry. I am a little angry, but uh, not uh, no no es no por gusto. Uh -huh. sería? Not in no vain. Soy enojado. Not, not in, in vain, not in vain. Uh, see, yes, uh, but, but in, vain. Uh, okay. in uh, talking about argue, I think uh, maybe three months. Okay, I don't three remember months. really. Okay, maybe three uh, months. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I I always try to to 
to to be controlled, relax, to be under calm, to be under control, and I always try to to get a solution uh, by the Pacific way. Yes, yes, that, that that's the correct form. Okay? Of course. Okay, good, Marlon. Well, that, that's good to know. Hey, let's listen to Helen and then Andrea. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I don't know what that is. You don't know, so you are a very pacific person. And, and yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Vaya, ya lo voy a preguntar a Kevin y a Edgar. Ellos van a saber. Okay. Yes, no. sir. Poor Kevin. Poor yes, teacher. Pobrecito. Sí, a que cámaras. No, 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 teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, sir. Eh, Andrea, and then we go with Edgar. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Andreita. Good evening. Uh, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Yes, uh, it was recent. Okay. Three weeks ago. I hope you are uh, calm now. Edgar. Eh, the, yes, yes. Tell me, Andreita. Uh, the people broke up my patio. Yes. Broke up your patience. 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 Yes. Remember, we have limits. We have our limits in different aspects. Patience is one. So when that uh, when a person passes that limit, okay, we are we can be out of our mind. Vamos a Out of mind, from fuera de control, out of control. Okay, so that happens. Yes. So we react, reaccionamos. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. Pero para que te quiten la paciencia, Andreita, porque mm -hmm, de verdad. Okay, Edgar, hello. Tell me, my friend, why? Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Uh, when hello. was the last time you argued? The last time, and then just me. Iba a decir, I don't argue, pero. But. Si no but recuerdo, sí, quizás como. Two months. Two months ago, okay, con Helen. I, I know, with Helen, okay. <laughs> Helen, no. no. Okay, two months, perfect. Uh, yeah. Bueno, no perfect, but good. <laughs> Uh, Jasmine, and then we go with Claudia. I think um, every day with my parrot. Wow, every day <laughs> with the Nilsson. No, with my parrot. Ah, with your parrot, but you have two parrots, yeah, right? Parrot. Three. El otro. Ah, el, oh, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> the parrots. Okay, uh, a question: uh, Do your parrots speak? Uh, yes. Yes. Can they say common words or or they say nasty words? Dicen malas palabras. Uh, igual. So that's very common. No, lo que yo les he enseñado. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what have you taught them? <laughs> uh, venga pues. Uh, hola mi amor. No, ok. Uh, Para de Nilsson por cuando know? llegue. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok, that's good. Well, that's positive, positive I words. I don't remember, but, but speak it. They, but they say phrases, they say phrases like that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, we go now with Claudia and then Kevin. Claudia, when was the last time you argued? Okay. Claudia. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, uh-huh. Um, okay, I'm going bueno. to give you time. I'm going to give you time. Okay, Kevin, okay, Kevin, okay. your turn, and then Manuel. Okay, I don't remember because I don't not a group person, and I try to ignore the attitudes of the mask. Okay, attitude, very good answer. Uh, that's uh, that's the correct form. Ignore. We have to ignore. But sometimes it's difficult to ignore because people are, are really bad. But okay, very nice. But and now Manuel and then Elsa. Manuel, are you ready? Yep. Um, okay. Really, I don't like argue. Okay. Because um, tengo un mal carácter. You know. Okay. No, no me quedo así, but 
no, no me, por eso lo evito bastante. Ok, ok, ok. So that's why you try to avoid. Avoid, yeah. sí, ajá, avoid significa evitar. You avoid argue. Ok. Te disparas, Manuel. Te manuelito un poco. Se activa. <risa> oh, o sea, es como que, como que le guardo las cositas va, y, y de repente ya cuando ya okay. se la voy a ir dejando. La voy, Ahí, le voy le a dar el vuelto. vuelto. Le das vuelto correcto. después. I understand. Thank you. And uh, Elsa and then Eden Nilsson. Se la voy dejando ir. <laughs> sí, es que, es que por raciones, así se la <laughs> racionadita. Uh, Elsa, hello. When was the last time you argued? I don't, I don't remember. You don't remember. I, I don't agree, sí. Okay. But, but I defend pues es, what is a fair? Ajá, fair. Mm -hmm. Ok, yo defend what is fair. Yes, and, and that's good. Okay. In, in, my, in, my, in my job, is, <laughs> is common. Ah, uh, yes, I guess, it's common. Mm -hmm. uh, Later, I will tell you uh, an anecdote. Ok, thanks, uh, thanks, uh, <laughs> Elsa. And, and Nilsson, now your turn. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I don't remember mm -hmm. when was the last time. Okay, you, you don't remember. Okay, but maybe we're going to talk about it later. Um, especially for, especially for some anecdotes. Okay, so we're going to start. Here we have um, how to use can and could. This is the class number seven. And, and here, remember this vocabulary, look at this. Okay, look at this vocabulary, look, look, look at this. And also we have this other vocabulary that we started yesterday, okay? Now tell me, tell me one that calls your attention without watching or taking a look to your notebook. Sin ver su cuaderno. Just tell me one that you remember, Dianita and then Charlie. Steer. Steer, okay, Charlie, Andrea. Fry. Fry. Mm -hmm. No sean copiones. Andrea, Carmen. Scramble. Scramble. Good. Carmen, Damari. Carmencita. Whiskey, teacher. Whiskey. Okay. No, whisk. Ah, whisk. Whisk. Okay, good. <laughs> Damari, Marlon. Grill. Mm -hmm. Good. Marlon, Helen. Bueno, la teacher, eh, um, no me acuerdo. Listen por... to your heart, listen to your heart. Um, eh, eh, bueno, era de lo de lo, la, la comida que salía yes. ahí, ¿verdad? Hmm. Quiero ver, era or, como era lo de hornear roast o no. Ok, roast, roast is one. No? Asar, ah. ok, roast. Mm, ok. Te salvaste, ok, good. <ríe> Adivina. Yes. De Cherepa. <laughs> Helen en Carito. Carito, no veas. Ok, voy. Carito, Maritza. Eh, eh, ¿Rol? Qué bárbara, ya está así viendo, Karen. No, hombre, Carito. No estoy viendo. Ajá, ajá, cabal. Ok, Rol. Maritza, Susi. Mm -hmm. Phil. Uh -huh. Phil. En Susi. Seis. Ajá, te levanta la cejita. Ok, fine. So here we have, uh, remember, these are verbs, action verbs for uh, the kitchen. Ok, when you are cooking. Now, here we have, this is not kitchen vocabulary, of course, but here we have some uh, phrases, useful phrases. You blew it. You blew. Blue es el pasado de blow. Blow es soplar, but blew it. You blew it. Lo arruinaste. Uh, normally, when uh, a friend, especially friends, do that, los amigos hacen eso, okay? You blew it. Everything is fine. Todo está bien. Did you get my point? ¿Entendiste mi punto? Did you understand what I say? So you can say, did you get my point? Es como les he enseñado otra vez, I don't get it. Sometimes, uh, some of you say, teacher, I'm sorry, I don't get it. No, no, no caigo, no entiendo. So, did you get my point? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? ¿Verdad? 
Ahí le puede, esa es una buena, excelente pregunta. A su pareja le pueden preguntar eso. I didn't understand, no entendí, eso es fácil. Glad to help, encantado de ayudar. Glad to help. It's my duty, duty. Duty es deber, ¿ok? Not a problem. Good for you. I knew you could do it. No could. Could, could. Como could I. Could. Ok. O como could. Yes. No sé cómo. Escudo. Could. I knew you could it. Ok. Tell me some of them. We start with Mercy and then Edgar. Select one and pronounce it. What do you want from me? Vaya, y en la Edgar Damari. Uh, 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 everything is fine. Good. Damari, uh, Kevin. Did you get my point? Good. Kevin and um, Charlie. Not a problem. Good. Charlie, Andrea. I know you could do it. Good. Andrea, Helen. What do you want from me? Okay, Helen Carmen. You wait with Okay, Carmen Carito. Everything is fine. Good, Carito Diana. I need you call Turin. Okay, uh, Diana Maritza. That's for you. Okay, Maritza Edenilson. Uh, everything is fine. Good, Eden Nilsson, Marlon. Good for you. Okay, Marlon, Susie. It's my duty. Good, Susie, Jasmine. Glad to help. Good, Jasmine, Elsa. I didn't understand. Good, Elsa, Manuel. What do you, what do you want from me? Okay, hey, Manuel. Uh, to help. Okay, perfect. So um, we're going to start with the question. Do you often argue? What do you usually argue about? Okay, it can be at work. Why? Because uh, our partners, our colleagues are, they are very difficult uh, people or at home, as Damari says, that his brothers are very noisy or with friends, okay? That could it be, but before that, uh, we're going to start with Carmencita. And before that, I'm going to check the attendance list, okay? I'm going to check the attendance list. Say hello if you're there. Ana Mercedes, you're there. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi. Hi. Charlie. Present. Good, Carmen. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Present. Thank you, Carolina, Carito. Present. Maritza. Hello. Good, Diana. Present. Danielson, thanks. Present. Good, Edgar. Present, teacher. Elsa, nice. Present. Damari. Present. Helen, thank you. Present, teacher. Kevin. Good. Present, teacher. Good, Manuel. Okay, uh, he's having... Present, present. Thanks, Marlo. Present. Thanks, Susie. Hello. Yes. Hello, Jasmine. Present. Thanks. And Beatriz, that she's driving. Okay, I know you are driving. Present. Beatriz. Thanks, thanks, Beatriz. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay, Carmen, tell me. I hardly are we are. Como se dice? Argue. 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 I hardly argue. And. When I do it is usually at home because my children have not done their activities. Mm -hmm. Their obligations, their duties, okay? Their duties, they have to do it, okay? Because you are a good mom and you give them things, okay? For all and all those, okay? So they have their obligations, okay, perfect. Now, Marlon. Your turn, my friend, tell me. I know that you are a very pacific person, but... Okay. Of course, teacher, but um, I just uh, remember that uh, uh, sometimes I have to argue with my son or, or my children, my children. Okay. 
uh, especially with my elder son, mm -hmm. because uh, sometimes uh, he is disobedient. Yeah, disobedient. Disobedient, mm -hmm. disobedient and and uh, um, I have to to talk with with him, and sometimes uh, if he don't understand by the Pacific way, I have to to uh, elevar la voz, ¿cómo se dice? Yes, yes, to loud your voice. <clears throat> I have to loud my voice. Yes, yes, sometimes we have to do it. Remember that uh, he's, he's a teenager, right? He's 17. Uh, he, uh, no, 17. he has 13. He is, he is 13. He, he perdón, he is 13. No problem. Yes, he's starting to be rebellious, right? He's starting yes. in that stage, in esa etapa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So, okay. But good. sometimes he doesn't understand and I have to love my boy. Yes. That's the way the, the teenagers or the teens are, okay? I yes, understand. but that's the only, the only way I can argue here uh, with my family. Yes, and I, I guess way, I think uh, we we don't we don't argue. Yes, and la, the last resort, como el último recurso, yes. sometimes, right? Because we want to talk. I know the Carmen also speaks. She talks with the, her kids, but the last resort you have to be like, of uh, uh, you you have to give your opinion, your presence. Okay, so thanks. Very nice. Good. And now let's listen to Damari. And then Charlie. Okay, Damari. Me, teacher. Yes, you. The, this, this topic or other? No, this topic. Okay. Uh, do you often argue? What do you usually argue about? The que? Sobre que? I, You're not with ready. With my brother. With my ah. brother when, when he has uh, making a lot of noise okay making a lot of noise especially at night i guess yes it's... <laughs> okay te disparaste me dice la respuesta anteriormente sí, es que es que no entendí porque ya le había dicho entonces no sé si me estaba preguntando de nuevo lo mismo no nada más es, es que aquí te estaba preguntando cuándo fue la última vez que discutiste solo cuándo fue ajá ah ajá. Eh, las las night Okay, the last night. Okay, talking about. I'm sorry, teacher. I don't understand no you. No problem. Es el amor. A veces pasa. I understand that. Relax. Okay, Charlie, your turn. My turn. I don't usually ask with any you know? Okay. Me, 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 Hakuna Matata. Okay, Hakuna Matata philosophy. Okay, yes. yes. Peace and love. So that's why you, your wife says that you, you have to argue. Te dice que tenés que discutir desde tu esposo. El había ser enojar. Yeah, maybe. Me, la Carmencita siempre defendiendo la va. <laughs> yes, but maybe, Charlie, I don't know the way you are as a husband. No sabemos cómo eso. Ahí en tu hogar, but maybe. Okay. Okay. So you are Hakuna Mata, like Timon and Pumba. Okay. Thanks. Okay, here we have this conversation. I'm going to give you eight seconds. Take a look at this. I'm going to ask you later, okay? Eight seconds. Okay. Let's see, mm, Carito, what do you remember about this conversation? Uh, turbo processation. Okay. Processor. Mm -hmm. Processor. Processor, good. Turbo, okay, nice. Uh, Susie and then Ed Nilsson. Don't cry, Susie, we love you, we love you. <laughs> I know, teacher, I know. Uh, can you give me information about the warranty? Okay, perfect. And then Nilsson and then Elsa. Mm, Ede, are you over there? Okay, if not. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh... Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to give you time, relax. Elsa, and then we go with Claudia. Okay, Elsa. The conversation is uh, two people, Linda and Juan. Perfect, Linda and Juan. She, they talking about the procasher. Okay. Pro washer. Okay, yes, pro washer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Elsa. Thank you, Elsa, very good. And Claudia, and we go with Edgar. Mm, hi, Linda. Could you give me? Could, could. Could you give me? Okay, thanks. And Edgar. Okay, eh, lo que alcancé a leer era algo así como de un teclado inteligente. Okay. Eh, capacidad de algo, decía, y hablaba algo de una garantía. Warranty. Warranty. Pero era al final. Gracias, la garantía, no sé qué, algo así. Ok. Ok, that's it. And perfect. Now let's listen to. This is Diana. Ok, Dianita, tell me. Um, yes, yeah, thank you for calling. Linda is speaking. And um, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yes, very nice, very nice. So uh, here we have Linda and Juan. They are talking, uh, well, it is a, a call, okay? So I will need your pronunciation. Uh, specifically, I will need Mercy. And I will need Manuel. Are you there, Manuel? Yeah. Okay. You are going to be Juancito, okay? <laughs> okay. And Mercy is going to be Linda, okay? Please. Okay. Quiet. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course, it has a capacity of five point two. Mm -hmm. Five point two. Five point two. Mm -hmm. Good. A turbo processor and an intelligent cable. Uh, can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Uh, can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, the warranty warranty of it is for. for okay, and that's it, thank you, thank you. So uh, we are clear that they are talking about a machine that it is a washing machine, it's una lavadora, okay, pro washer. So uh, they say that it has a turbo processor. Uh, uh, CU fits in, uh, significa el, el volumen cúbico, okay, en pies, verdad, 5.2. E intelligent keyboard. It is not a computer. It is that the, the keyboard, verdad, <coughs> que, uh, que es, pues, inteligente. So, and I need to tell me uh, some sentences about can and could. Marlon. Can you tell me one question using can or could in the conversation? And then we go with Carmen. Of course. Uh, can you give me information about the warranty? Okay, yes. Uh, la penúltima. Yes. Bueno. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Bueno, que es lo mismo. Oh, well, it's, it's the, the same. same. It's the same, yes, of course. Carmen, and then we go with Carito. Can or could? Teacher. Can or could? Like te diga tu corazón. Okay. How can I help you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can I help you? La vieja confiable. Thank you, Carmencita. Carito, and then we go with Kevin. Could you give, give me some information about the pro washer? Good. Thank you, Kevin. And then we go with Helen. Can you give me information about the warranty? Okay. No sé 
Yes, 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 that's it. And Helen, la última sería. Will you repeat that, please? Okay. I need you to have a screenshot. And then we're going to have this short conversation, one or two minutes, because it's a uh, short, it's brief. Okay, please. I need you to have a screenshot. Tomen una captura de pantalla y vamos a practicar rápidamente. Casi nada, no vamos a tardar. Okay, now that we are ready, I'm going to create the groups. Ahora sí, los estoy creando para, para darles más variedad. Okay, see you. Carmencita, ¿qué te me haces? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for? <laughs> La verdad. <laughs> <laughs> Pero no, solo son papeles y a la hora de que no va a reclamar nada. Eso sí es cierto. Gracias a Dios nunca me he visto en esa necesidad, pero no vaya a ser. Pero sí, sí esos cuatro años venden, te lo aseguro, te lo aseguro. Sí, sí. ¿Verdad, profe? Ya se nos fue. No. Quizá. <risa> ¿Cuántos años de garantía quisiera? <risa> Hola. ¿Qué tal? How many, how many years do you want warranty eh, 
the, uh -huh, warranty. About the, about this, this pro washer. Of that two Q, Q a turbo processor and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, the warranty of it is for. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hola, estás usted, va? <laughs> no, estábamos concentradas. Ah, qué obediente. No, es que ustedes son sí, bien sí, obedientes. Sí, sí. You're very yeah, responsible. Sí. sí. Mire que bien es. portaditas se ven a saber. Se ven bien. Se ven. Hasta ver. Ay, se ven. somos. Ay, no, no bueno, Así es, ven. teacher. Bueno, todo bien, ¿verdad? Everything okay. Yes, okay. Okay, vale. perfecto. Hello, Maritza, can you hear me? ¿Me escuchas, Maritza? Hello. Yes. Ok, ok. Perfect. Ok, um, here we have some questions uh, related to this conversation. So, ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí donde dice QFT? ¿Cómo dijo que se pronunciaba? See you fit. See you fit. See you fit. Ah, okay. Sí, que es el volumen, el volumen. Uh -huh. eh, en pies. ¿Verdad? Yo pues se me imagino que pues, el tamaño, ¿verdad? 5.2. Bueno, asumo, la capacidad. ¿Yes? ¿Cómo se pronuncia eh, después de 5.2? See you fit. See you fit. FT es fit. Ok. See you fit. No, es see you, que nos vemos. Ok. And can anybody tell me the difference between can and could? Does anybody remember it? Can is, is the, perdón, could is más formal que can. Es más formal, Ama es más amable. <laughs> es más amable, más formal. Y can, y, uh, tiene, uh, well, both of them have the same function, but I recommend you to use could to be polite, para verte más formalito, así como yo. Más tranquilito. But can, Es cuando a veces tienen más confianza, but of course you can use can. Pueden utilizar can. No me van, no, no, tampoco me voy a quedar con eso de que no, ¿verdad? Porque a veces usted me pregunta, teacher, ¿y si utilizo can? ¿Y si quiero utilizar can? Of course, follow your heart. Sigue tu corazón, ¿ok? Pero eh, it is common that we use could and please. Utilizamos could y terminamos con please. Por ejemplo, could you tell me your name, please? Could you tell me your... Uh, your phone number, please, and all those things. Okay, now, uh, here we have three questions and I will need uh, some answers. So, let's see, is going, the person who's going to help me is Andrea. Okay, Andrea, pick one, and then we'll go with Kevin. Okay, number two. Number two, tell me. Mm -hmm. What question can you say instead of repeat? Uh -huh. eh, en, en lugar de eh, decir solo repeat, ¿qué podemos decir? ¿Qué pregunta? I... Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? Y también podemos utilizar can. Uh -huh. Can you repeat that, please? Yes. Okay, so that's it. Okay, easy. Um, let's see who's next, who's next. Kevin. Okay. Hey, Maritza. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, what does Juan want to buy? Yes. The answer is uh, Pro Washer. The Pro Washer, yes. It's, it's a washing machine. Thanks. Maritza, okay. Tell me, are, uh, please, could you read it, please? Are, uh, are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Polite. Mm -hmm. Polite. Polite. Or polite. Okay. What do you what do you think? They are polite or impolite? Amables or no amables? Uh, yes, both. Yes, both. They, they are polite, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Because they are using keywords. Están utilizando una palabra clave. Y la palabra clave, ¿cuál sería? What is the keyword, Maritza?
Yes, no te escuché. Cool. Uh, yes, cool, cool. Uh -huh. Okay, cool is the keyword, of course. Thanks, very nice. Okay, do you often argue? Okay, Maritza, now you tell me. Okay, do you often okay. argue? And then we're going with Elsa. Um, I don't uh, argue very often, but when I, uh, when I do it, when I do it with my son, but he's very dis disobedient. Disobedient. Or mm -hmm. Disobedient or with my family because that things don't turn out with I like them. Mm -hmm. Or the, the way you want it or the way they are supposed to do it. Okay. Oh, so, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, but that's understandable, isn't it? Thank you, Maritza. Very good point. Okay, Elsa, and after Elsa, we're going with Diana. I usually in my work because uh, because there are unfair, unfair. They are unfair. Son injustos. Okay. Or incorrect. A thing or process okay. in the, in the, with the with the student or yes. or teachers. Yes, there are some attitudes that they uh, they are not ethics, no son éticas, or they are not yes. professionals. That there are some situations in which uh, we have to defend. Okay, defend oh, yeah. the rights. Oh, unfair. Injusto. Fair, fair, is justo, unfair, injusto. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Very nice. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dianita, la más tranquila. Almost, almost, es casi, ¿verdad, teacher? Almost, almost. yes. Almost. almost every day. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's your, that's part of your job. <laughs> you have yeah. to depend. <laughs> okay. Mucha yoga. Okay, yeah, you have to go to to have some what? Yoga, you have to go to have the practice, the, practice. ¿Cómo se llaman esas ramitas que huelen bien rica? No, es... Ajá. Incienso. Ajá, esas arom aromáticas, ajá. There are okay. some therapies, there are some therapies. Of yeah, yes. Okay, good, thank you. Danita, tell me. Okay, no, I don't often, así sería. Uh -huh. I don't often argue. Okay, but, uh, but... in my work, <laughs> um, for space, request, and because I don't like that, that they affect me with their is irresponsibility. Mm -hmm. Irresponsibility. Mm -hmm. Irresponsibility. Uh, also, because I don't like that, uh, they scold. If I am responsible, responsible. Okay. Responsible, responsible. Responsible. Okay, and sometimes when we work in a team, depending on one colleague, we can have like uh, complaints, vamos a tener quejas, we can have bad news or bad noticias, nos pueden regañar, right? And so we have to work together, talking about the play, the workplace, okay? Okay, thank you, Diana. Very nice. Thank you. And uh, let's listen to Helen. La que no se enoja, dice. Okay, Helen. Hello, teacher. Mm, tell me, do you have an argue? <laughs> and war for consuming service. Mm -hmm. With the um, customers, con los clientes. <laughs> Servicio al cliente cuando los dependientes no, no, no trata bien al cliente. Ah, ok, yes. When the employees, ok, they don't uh, treat well to, to, the, to the customers, yes. ok. So you um, have to call the attention, tienes que llamar la atención. Yes. <laughs> esta, esta jefa bien enojada, ok. Yes, no, remember. Only oh, yes. teacher. Okay, you have to, uh, yes, remember we have to give good service to customers and clients. Okay, thank you, Helen. We continue later. Now here we have this can and could. I will need Marlon to help me with the first two sentences 
And then we're going with um, Edenilson. Okay, we can't, Marlon, please, I can. I can give you my personal information. Okay, continue. She can't, play, she can't pay for the washer right now. Okay, thank you, Edenilson. Can I and can you? Can I have your credit card number? Okay. Can you tell me how many items you need? Perfect, items, good. Charlie, could you could try and day? You could try with another credit card. Mm -hmm. they, they could can. and give you billing address. My billing address, okay, thanks very much, okay. Now we continue with this one and I will need Jasmine. Could you spell and could we check? Okay. Jasmine, are you okay? Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Uh, repeat, please. Read it. Necesito que la leas. Could you spell? Could you could you spell your last name? Mm -hmm. Could you could we check the details? of my order details details of my order okay uh, i will need you to write one question necesito que escriban una oración and i need you to type it on the chat necesito que la escriban en el chat please okay whatever question using can or could lo que se les ocurre con can or could okay it can be related to a product it can be related to personal information it can be related to an activity okay can could can could. We have some, um, for example, can you tell me? Or mm -hmm. can you do some things? Could we check? You can use can you, could you, can we, can they, can she, could she? Okay. So, Teacher, mm -hmm. another is for, uh, para otra, verdad? Another? Or another. Or sería sí. other? No, another, another. Okay. Okay, let's, vamos a ver este chat. Este chat sí es sano. Okay. Y muy productivo. Okay. Uh -huh. Can you give me your phone number? Could you tell me where is your job? Mm -hmm. Can you borrow? Mm -hmm. Can I borrow? Can you let me and can I borrow? Sería ahí, means can I borrow you? Mm -hmm. uh, can you help me, Danita? Can you write the mail? Could you tell me where they sell the best proposals in the country? Obviously, Carmen is in planes de renderos. That's the answer. Yes. Aunque quiere te diga lo contrario. Can you give me another cup of coffee, please? Susi, necesita café. Could you call me now? Okay, Mercy, necesita una llamada. Could you pass me the salt? Okay, Kevin, can you repeat, please? Yes. Could you tell me where uh, you live? Could you spell your name? Can, can you visit my grandmother in the night? Okay, Edgar, I guess that's difficult. Uh-huh. Can you give me your address? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a very clear idea about this, okay? Can you speak English? I'm sorry, Claudia, I can't. Could you give me, todavía give me, give me a beer, please? Ah, Manuel, I guess everybody wants a beer right now. Y después now. dicen que soy yo, ¿verdad? De, no, eso sí, inocente. Inocente alma, pura, eso sí. Could you please go? ¿A dónde, Helen? No sé a dónde querés que vayamos. Ya me pegaron, dice Manuelito. You say any question? <laughs> okay, perfect. We are, we have a clear idea about this, okay? Es cierto, cualquier. Okay, perfect. And we are in the middle. And we have to continue with this. Easy peasy, right? About can and could. Here we have a worksheet. Remember, the last time we studied uh, continuous, but also we studied past continuous. 
El past continuous eh, en lugar, instead of am, is are, we use, was, and were. ¿Verdad? Entonces vimos el, el the positive form. ¿Ok? But now we're going to use the negative form. I wasn't, she wasn't, he wasn't, or you weren't, eh, they weren't. ¿Ok? So here we have some sentences. Remember eh, to complete with the verb with ing, el verbo con ing, verbo con ing. ¿Ok? So for this, um, We're going to start with Carmen Sita. Okay, Carmen, pick one. Negative. Okay, teacher. Uh, number one. Number one. Uh, she wasn't yes. in the in the pool. No, she wasn't swim in the pool. She wasn't. Ay, estoy mezclando. She eh, wasn't creo. played hockey. Sí. Eh, okay. <laughs> yes. Ah, playing. Okay. Playing. ING. ING. Okay. Thank you, Carmencita. Okay. We go now with Amari and Andrea. They weren't. Swimming, they weren't to swimming. I ah, know they weren't swimming. Uh, mm -hmm. They weren't swimming in the pool. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Uh, Andrea and then Charlie. Number eight. Mm -hmm. I wasn't uh, waiting in front of the shop. Perfect. Uh, Charlie, Maritza. Number four. Uh, we were in list, listening music. Listening, mm -hmm. listening to, uh, uh -huh. listening to music. Okay, thank you. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Uh, Number three. And then, okay, go ahead. Three. It, uh, it wasn't raining. Raining, it wasn't raining. Good. Uh, Marlon and Jasmine. Uh, number five, mm -hmm. the mobile uh, wasn't ringing. The mobile wasn't ringing. Good. Jasmine, and we go with uh, Helen. Number nine, hmm? the cat wasn't sleeping in the basket. Sleeping in the basket. Thank you. Helen, and then Ellen Nilsson. Mm -hmm. Number six. Mm -hmm. And the student went to text. text texting. Texting. Yes, texting. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we we'll go with Eden Nilsson and Kevin. Max wasn't dancing with two girls. The Max bien picaro. Thanks. Bueno, pero no estaba. Okay, Kevin. 10. Number 10. He doesn't repair. Repair. Get his bike. He wasn't. Uh -huh. He wasn't. Wasn't. Repair. Repairing. Get repairing. Yes. Jerry's uh, bike. Okay. And uh, we continue with uh, some others. I'm sorry. Okay. Here we have by now this. Por ahora tenemos estas. And we continue. Yo vamos a seguir, pero no quiero si tengo. If I have some others. Okay. No, these are, sir. Okay. Yes, by now I have this just by now. Okay, we continue with uh, the questions. Let me see. Uh, do you usually argue? And in this time, we're having Andrea and then Mercy. Okay, Andrea? I usually argue at home with my dogs. With your dogs? Yes, okay. they in ignore me. Así es. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> A veces pasa. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> they, okay. They don't follow your orders, your instructions. 
No. Okay, and they do a mess. A veces hacen un relajo. I imagine. Can you imagine? Okay. With your dogs. ¿Cómo se llama? What, what are the names of your dogs? Tiger and Seca. Seca. <laughs> sí. Seca. Okay. Ya no digo que así les dicen a mis vecinas porque después me vinculan. Thank you, Andrea. Okay. Mercy, your turn. Okay. I usually argue with the providers when they send me order of product with error. Error? ¿Cómo se dice? Error or mistake. Error. I had to make the claim that it was not what was agreed. Okay, yes, because you receive uh, the, the call or maybe you receive what bad news or something like that. So they have to give you what you order, right? But yes. sometimes they, they may be say they have some errors and their problem is for you. So that's why. Imagine how se pone esto. Sí, son muchos. <laughs> okay, that usually happens. Thank you. And what about Edgar? Okay, Edgar, your turn. Ya había pasado, pero si quieren. Ya, ya había pasado, ya había pasado. Edgar. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, Edgar. So we go with Kevin. Kevin, tú también. Hello, teacher. Yes. Well, maybe not arguing, but some things I should don't think about some eh, como actitudes se me olvidan. The attitude. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. But I don't like to say anything because I think it won't have any effect or results. Okay, okay, I understand that. So you avoid to evitas, right? To sí. argue, okay? Okay, that's it. Thanks. Um, okay, now let's uh, continue with uh, this activity, but let me see. Okay. Here we have speaking, we have synonyms. I'm sorry, this was not part of the show. Here we have some synonyms. Can you say it? And here we have adjective. Tenemos adjetivos, adjectives. So uh, there are synonyms. For example, glad, nice, wonderful, awful, and so on. And here we have silent, happy, amusing, boring, inexpensive. So there are different words, but the meanings are similar. Los eh, significados son similares, okay? So we're going to start in this case with Jasmine, okay, Jasmine? You can say the number here and the other word here, okay? Take a uh, look. Uh, in Possible number eleven. Impolite. Ah oh. oh, yes, impolite. Um. I don't know. Okay, okay. I'm good going to give looking. you time. Good looking. Okay, impolite is uh, que una persona que es pesada o que no es amable. Terrible. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Terrible. Are you sure? Okay, I'm going to give you time. Te voy a, te voy a dar tiempo, okay? okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Eh, Marlon, and then Maritza. Um, I think um, I can say number nine, handsome. With good looking. Yes, nine handsome. With good looking. Yes, that's it. Perfect. Maritza and then Charlie. Uh, number three, wonderful. I think it's marvelous. Yes, marvelous. Good. Charlie, Andrea. Uh, cheap and inexpensive. Perfect. What number is cheap? 15. 15. Inexpensive. Yes. Yeah, cheap, inexpensive. Andrea, and then we go with Susie. 
Uh, number five, strange. I guess is peculiar. Peculiar. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could it be? Peculiar. Okay, nice. Susie, uh, Carmen. Uh, 13. Maybe. Quiet. Uh -huh. Quiet, maybe silent. Mm -hmm. Yes, quiet. Me está describiendo, fíjate. Sin comentario. <laughs> Carmencita, qué relajo tiene. Ah, tiene fiesta. Good. No, teacher, is my little son with okay. your friends. With Play video juego. Video games. Video okay. games. <laughs> okay, Carmen. And after Carmen, Diana. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Glad o Glade. Ok, Glad. Glade es el aromatizante. Sí. Glad happy. Yes, good. Glad and happy. Diana and eh, Damari. Uh, number 11. Impolite. Uh, rude. Yes, rude. A person who is impolite is rude. Hmm? Thank you. Um, uh, Damari and Elsa. Acaba de pasar, ¿verdad, Damari? No, teacher. Ah, no, ahí vas. Sí. Eh... Mm. Eh, fa funny. Funny. Mm -hmm. Sigue la flechita y me dice. <laughs> Dale pues. I'm waiting. Funny, maybe. No sé. ¿Qué te dice tu corazón? Mm, I don't know. Amusing. Amazing yes. or am amusing. ¿Ya ves? Eh, corazón todavía late. Ok, fine. Who's next? Me, teacher. El, Elsa, Elsa, and then um, Manuel. Number two, nice. <coughs> Pleasant. Yes, Pleasant. yes, nice, pleasant. Good. Ok, uh, we go with uh, Manuel and Carito. Ok, number 14. Mm -hmm. 14. Easy as yeah. maybe simple. Yeah, we can say easy, simple. Very good, Manuel. Ok, and next, Carito and then Eden Nilsson. Um, number 12. 12. Tell yes. me. Intelligent, maybe maybe clever. Yeah, clever, perfect. Clever. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and uh, we go with who's next? Me. Okay, me after me, mercy. Okay, and then um, we have awful, very big, optimistic, dull, mm -hmm. very, very big, or what? Very big. Very big. With a uh, huge. Yes, huge, huge. Okay. Yes, thank you. Who's next? Okay. Kevin. Mercy, right? And Kevin. Ah, se me está escondiendo, Mercy. Uh -huh. <laughs> More time, teacher. More time. Okay, awful. Tenemos awful. Y tenemos optimistic. And dual. Only three. Okay, Kevin. Ready? Because Mercy needs more time. 
Okay. I think number seven, optimistic with hopeful. Yes, hopeful. Perfect. Okay, we have a awful and dual. Mercy and Jasmine. Okay. Merci, merci, merci. It can be boring or it can be terrible. Dul, ¿qué es, teacher? No sé, seguí tu corazón. Merci. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Jasmine. Awful. Mm -hmm. uh, terrible. Yes. Awful is terrible. Que ya se me olvidó el perdí. Terrible. Okay. Awful is fail. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Okay. And dull is similar to boring. Mercy. Es aburrido, tedioso. Dull es tedioso. Okay. Thanks. These are synonyms and these are part of your vocabulary to expand your vocabulary, to expand your vocabulary. Okay, so uh, we go to the listening part. I need, uh, I need you to have your pen. Pen or pencil depends on you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to listen to one minute um, audio, okay? We start now. This looks like a very elegant office. I imagine it could be the office of a bank manager or a company president. It could be a perfect office for such a person. There's a large desk made of expensive wood and it's very organized. There isn't so much stuff on it. It makes everything easy to find because you don't waste such a lot of time looking for letters or documents. Perhaps this is the office at eight o'clock in the morning before the person arrives. Maybe if you take a photo at five o'clock in the afternoon, it's very different. Something I don't like is the floor. It looks like there's a big cream carpet on the floor. They get so dirty so quickly, they're very difficult to clean. One last thing, there's a very good light in this room, which is important if you are reading or writing a lot. There are two big lamps on the desk. Okay, listen again. This looks like a very elegant office. I imagine it could be the office of a bank manager or a company president. It would be a perfect office for such a person. There's a large desk made of expensive wood and it's very organized. There isn't so much stuff on it. It makes everything easy to find because you don't waste such a lot of time looking for letters or documents. Perhaps this is the office at eight o'clock in the morning before the person arrives. Maybe if you take a photo at five o'clock in the afternoon, it's very different. Something I don't like is the floor. It looks like there's a big cream carpet on the floor. They get so dirty so quickly, they're very difficult to clean. One last thing. There's a very good light in this room, which is important if you are reading or writing a lot. There are two big lamps on the desk. Okay, let's listen to, to the ideas or phrases. We're going to start with... Um, Edgar and Manuel. Okay, Edgar, what did you listen? Mm, no escuché mucho, pero lo que alcancé a escuchar decía one last thing. Okay, one last thing. Thank you. Manuel and Helen. Some word, uh, company president, manager, por aquí. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, okay. Good. Otra, 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 eh? Definitely good. Good. Helen and Carito. And can you manage? Mm -hmm. Carito, then Elsa. This looked at very the elegance office. Mm, perfect. Elsa Damari. 
the office is very organized, the president, an elegant person. Okay, good. Uh, Damari and Andrea. No alcanzo a escuchar, teacher, pero era como the office at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Ya me estás inventando, Damari, pero está bien. Sí, in the morning is very different. He look, no sé qué. Ya veo que sos creativa, Damari. Okay, thank you. Ya te voy conociendo. Thanks. Andrea, merci. Maybe if you take a photo at five o'clock in the afternoon. Good one. Merci, Susie. This looks like a very elegant office. Manager, company, president. Mm -hmm. Good one. Susie, Marlon. It's very organized and so quickly. And to be long, 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 yes, long, yes, no sé. Ya me está inventando también Susi. Ok. Thank you, Susi. Marlon and Maritza. It makes everything easy to find. Yes. Everything is to find. Maritza, Charlie. In the afternoon is very different. Mm -hmm. It's very different. Ok. Charlie, Carmen. He is in the office at 8 o'clock. Ok, me estoy inventando, Charlie, pero ahí vamos llegando, ahí vamos llegando. Good. Eh, Carmen, Jasmine. This is the office at 8 o'clock. Bien, Carmencita, bien. Y esperando a ver si no le digo que inventa. Jasmine, do you have any other idea? A perfect office. Ok, a perfect office. Good. Um, what about Eden Nilsson? Do you have any other idea? If I remember, if I if I am okay, that he described the um, the office when all people uh, starts to work, and okay. he says that it looks uh, an office of of a bank manager or, or alguien similar. Okay. If, well. if the things are easy to find okay, and okay. Uh, maybe have a table with expensive, uh, expensive uh, madera. Thanks. Good. Okay. Thanks, Edenilson. We're going to listen. This looks like a very elegant office. I imagine it could be the office of a bank manager or a company president. It would be a perfect office for such a person. There's a large desk made of expensive wood and it's very organized. There isn't so much stuff on it. It makes everything easy to find because you don't waste such a lot of time looking for letters or documents. Perhaps this is the office at eight o'clock in the morning before the person arrives. Maybe if you take a photo at five o'clock in the afternoon, it's very different. Something I don't like is the floor. It looks like there's a big cream carpet on the floor. They get so dirty so quickly. They are very difficult to clean. One last thing. There's a very good light in this room, which is important if you are reading or writing a lot. There are two big lamps on the desk. Okay, now if we compare these uh, extracts, uh, it is quite different. So a question for um, Andrea. Do you remember uh, the audio, the yesterday's audio? It is different, right? It was a, a completely the different description to now. What is the difference? Do you remember one difference? Estaba hablando de la familia, de las fotos de la familia, y ahora está hablando de 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 su trabajo. Mm, are you sure? Mm, I guess. Andrei, te estás creativa, mira, y ya veo <laughs> cómo te cuentas historias. Okay, let's ask to um, Charlie. A ver qué me dice. Vamos a ver si. Uh, I remember uh, a book. 
spoke about, uh -huh. about uh, a little office. Yes. Yesterday. Today yes. is today speak about a large office. And okay. In a, a large table. Sorry. Large, okay. large table. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Here we have. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, very nice. And here we have also that uh, there are some differences. Hay un par de diferencias, right? There are some differences between the offices, no the office, the office, porque es vocal, ¿verdad? Le sigo una vocal, okay? I'm going to present you this. Andreita, ese audio era el, el del lunes, I guess. On lunes. The... Sí, sí, de lunes. Mm. Okay, Carmen, do you remember any other difference between the audio, yesterday's audio and today's audio? Uh, eh, the yesterday audio, the distraction in the office. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about Elsa? And then, and then Elsa. Elsa, do you remember any other? Yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, the company uh, near a large uh, building. A larger in... building. Yes, of course. Okay, thank you. And then, Nilsson, do you remember any other difference? Uh, the office are very small. Yesterday, yes, it was like yes. very small. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. I but remember, I... teacher. Aha, aha, que se acuerda. Recuérdame. Eh, uh -huh. Era mes desordenada. Ok, mes. There was a mess. Ajá, ya ves la conciencia. Yes, ok. <laughs> was a mess. Ok, yes. And now, this office is like order, right? It's different. And Susie, do you have any other difference? No, teacher. The same my colleagues. Ajá, la vieja confiar. Thank you, Susie. No, but that's ok. So, eh, Remember, this is a chaotic office. Uh, the, the worst part is the large table, blah, 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 problem. There's a TV, había una televisión en la de en la, en la, en la, okay? So, the, even there, there was a lizard, había como una lagartija ahí en la pared. There were a, a lot of things. And now, can you see that it's very elegant and, well, can you see that it is order and a lot of things, okay? So now, uh, do you often argue, but before this, solo recordarles lo siguiente. Uh, now we'll study present, past and future. Uh, present continuous y ya estamos por terminar. We're about to finish past continuous. Solo nos falta la parte de las preguntas, okay? And then we are ready. De ya estamos listos, okay? Um, let's see. What's the name of this song? Vamos a ver quién le toca ahora. ¿Quién le había dicho? Me. Vamos a ver. Me. Yes, Maritza. Are you ready? Can you share screen? ¿Puedes compartir pantalla? Uh, lo voy a intentar. Nunca lo he hecho, pero lo voy a intentar. Para todo una primera vez. Let's do it. You can do it. Yes, of course, you can do it. Female power. Poder femenino. Vamos, puedes. Quiero mostrarles todo. Roberto. Okay, Roberto. <laughs> okay, so um, there are some, well, I hope you can finish the homeworks aprovechando aquí el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El espacio publicitario. Remember to finish the homeworks. There are three uh, students who have not finished the homework. So I hope you be updated, que se actualicen con eso, in case, so uh, you're going to have to do it at the end, and it was accumulated, va a estar acumulado, and nobody wants to do a lot of things, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Roberto, very nice, <laughs> Maritza. okay, Maritza, please read it, but if you want to sing it, or dancing, you can do it, Maritza, uh, we can't hear you. You have to activate microphone.
está concentrada, Maritza. Estoy llevándose aquí. Excuse me. No problem, okay. Maritza. Good. I never. Que le baja el volumen. Or... I never, I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have got no written. Though it's easy to pretend. I know you're not a fool. I should have known better than to shed a friend and waste a chance that I'd been given. So I'm never gonna dance again. That's why I dance with you. Mm. I'm never gonna dance I know. again. I know. Wish Ah, Way Wilson and Vanessa song. Yes. Wilson and Vanessa. No. Wade Wilson and Vanessa son in Deadpool. Ah, in Deadpool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Andrea, Andrea, say the whisper. Name. Yeah. <laughs> Careless. Careless whisper. Yes. Right? Yes, okay. Eh, mira, que, no sé qué hiciste, Maritza, pero aquí te activaste de otra manera. Yes, good. Perfect. Yes. I'm never gonna dance again. Bien, bien pegajosa esa, esa parte. Okay. Good. Um, el saxofón es el, el bien, el bien sexy. Okay, so uh, let's uh, see what words you identify, Maritza. Okay, um, dance is a verb. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? It's a regular or irregular verb? Regular, bird? regular verb. Perfect. Uh, guilty is an adverb. Um, adverb. Adjective. Adjective. Excuse me. Adjective. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rhythm is uh, it's a, a noun. No, it's a noun. Es un nombre. Me gustó cómo lo pronunciaste. Rhythm. It's rhythm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you is pronoun. Yes, it's an object pronoun. Mm -hmm. um, I. I is a mm. subject pronoun. Perfect. Um, Uh, y Maritza, ¿qué más? Never is an adverb. Yes, uh, well, never is an adverb. Mm -hmm. Frequency adverb. Mm -hmm. Ok, relax, mm -hmm. breathe, respira, Maritza, <laughs> respira. Maritza. Okay. ok, thanks. Ok, I'm going to stop in there, stop mm -hmm. in there. Ok, I'm going to ask Carito, ok, can you identify and then Mercy, can you identify another word? Yes, and. Um... The bird dancing? Dance. Okay. Dance. But that, that's repeated. But that's present, past, or future? Is future? Hmm? No. Dancing past. Simple past, Carita. No me estés inventando. Ya te veo creativa, Sorry. mira. Ah, Carita. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mercy. Mercy and then Carmen. Had. Ajá. ¿Cuál es had? had. Eh, ¿Dónde dice? Pit had. Uh -huh. Ah, eso ya lo vimos. Have got. ¿Yo remember what is that? Have got. <laughs> no lo encuentro. Eh, second line. Have got. Yes, have got. Mercy, ¿te recuerdas qué es have got? Uh, Busca en tu corazón, Mercy. Teníamos. Yeah, no. Casi. Ajá. Tienen, tienen. Uh -huh. Tienen. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. Los pies culpables como que no tienen ritmo. Have got. ¿Se recuerdan que el have got? Uh -huh. Que Susi me decía, hay teacher y si no quiero usar have got, solo, solo quiero usar have So and good. finally, I use. Yes, finally, you use it and perfectly. Good. Y ya va vos, Susi, ya que apareciste. Carmen and then Susi. Okay, I'll burn again. Again. Yes. Yes, again is an adverb, de nuevo. Okay. The first um, line. Uh, yes, uh, how a verb. Yes, have is verb. Desactivo, Carmen. Susi, the last. Okay, uh, six line or oh, line six, whatever. 
Eh, I been given. Eh, no recuerdo qué tipo de paz. Uh -huh. I This... been given. No sé, cierto tipo de paz. Past perfect. I had been given. I, I had. Lo vamos a espero verlo con ustedes, ¿ok? Thank you, Maritza. Very nice work. Very good. And thanks to Roberto. As well. Very nice. Excuse me, nunca lo oh, había. Tiene buen ayudante. Ya creo que le voy a decir que me ayuda aquí con las clases. Very good. Perfect. Ok, we're about. Uh, yes. No is is a uh, irregular verb. Really? Yes, yes. Uh, known. Yes. Known. Yes. Known. Known. Yes. Irregular verb. Mm -hmm. No, new, known. Ok, perfect, Charlie. Very good. Um, ok, eso es lo que te decía, mira, eso sí. I had learned. Este es eh? past perfect. Ok. So, uh, we're about to finish. Um, ¿Qué está haciendo esta, esta aquí? Esta pregunta. Ok, we're going with to the conversations, but before this conversation, let's listen to some others. Um, ah, no sé, estoy con la otra PowerPoint. Roberto. Roberto, help me please. Okay. The Roberto se fue. Okay, so um, let's listen to Carito. Mm, yeah. Carito. Carito. <laughs> Ajá. I, I frequently argue. Oh, often, really? Yes, often oh. in my work. Why? What, uh, with my colleagues when they do the when they do not uh, follow direction ah they don't follow directions or instructions yes, yes. that that happens sometimes uh, so that's why we have differences okay so but do you do you usually so that's common for you yes frequently are you angry an angry person carito no, I... no, teacher, no. Me sacan de mi casa, sí. Ok, de verdad, pero tan angelical que te ves, no te creo, pero... Soy muy, muy... Cuando ya realmente ya exploto. Ok, you explode. Ok, thank you, Caro. And what about um, Edenilson? Do you often argue? Um, not really. Hmm? Not really. No problem with that. No. Okay, we're going to ask to Yasmin to see if it is true. <laughs> okay, perfect, Edward. Thank you. And Claudia, are you ready, Claudia? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me. Mm -hmm. Do you open uh, art? I usually argue with my sister about the address of in the home. Oh, okay. About housework. Yes. Housework, yes. So she has her obligations and she doesn't do it. Yes, I'm very arrogant. Okay, she's very lazy. Lazy. Arrogancita, lazy. Como sí. la canción de Bruno Mars, lazy song. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, I have that problem with my brothers. Sometimes they don't want to do the, the things they have to do. And mm -hmm. so that's why we have differences in these questions. Okay, Claudia. Yes. Very, very good examples. Okay. And the last thing here, let's listen to Susie. Ya pasé, teacher. Pasaste, en serio. <laughs> Okay, so um, the, to finish, we're having conversations, three conversations, and we're about to finish 18 minutes, 18 minutes, and ya casi terminamos. Okay, so I'm, co I'm going to send uh, these conversations. Uh, the conversation is related to withdraw. Withdraw significa retiro of a bank. Okay. Here you have the conversations. So, um, 
Remember yesterday we were talking about deposit, deposit money into the bank. Now here we have withdraw, making a withdraw. Withdraw is retire money. Okay, retire money from your bank account. So here we have, how are you doing today? Great, thank you. What can I do for you? I need to withdraw, withdraw some money. How much would you like to take out? Take out, it's a synonym for retire or synonym for withdraw. I need to withdraw $300. No sé qué tiene esta gente con $300 desde ayer. Están con... Which account would you like to take the money from? I want to take it from my checking account. Here you go. Thank you very much. Can I do uh, Can I do anything else for you? No, that's all. Next, how are you? I'm fabulous. What can I help you with? I need to make a withdrawal. It's a synonym, withdrawal. Withdrawal es un retiro y withdraw es un verbo, retirar, but almost the same. How much uh, are you withdrawing today? ¿Cuánto está retirando ahora? ¿Cuánto vas a retirar ahora? I need $300. What account would you like to take this money from? Take it from my checking account. Here's your $300. Thanks so much. Will you be needing anything else? And that it, and that's it for today. And three, how is it going? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. What did you need? Uh, I would like to make a withdrawal. Withdrawal, withdrawal. How much money would you like to withdraw? I want to take out $300. Which accounts are you making this withdrawal from? I want it taken from my checking account. All right, here's your $300, thanks a lot. Is there anything else I can do for you today? No, that's everything, thank you, okay? So uh, very easy vocabulary, 15 minutes and we finished, okay, my friend? So see you in the breakout rooms.
Ajá, Carmencita, ¿de qué se ríe? Eh, de nada, teacher. Ah, a ver qué maldades. Ay, Carmen. Ok. Sí. Jasmine, hello there. Hello. Ok, I need you to answer. Do you often argue, Jasmine? Mm. Uh -huh. No, because I, I am I'm alone in my house from one year. <laughs> okay, so that's um, why you don't have a person to fight, <laughs> to discuss or to argue. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's the main reason. Okay, good. And Manuel, you're the last. Do you often argue? Uh, uh, do you often argue? No, I didn't do it. Argue? Uh, oh, frequently. You don't do it frequently. Okay. Uh, no. So you're a very pacific person. Okay. Uh, and, yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> to finish, I will need this pronunciation. The first uh, couple will be, let's see, Susie. Who was uh, your your partner, Susie Q? Charlie. Okay, Charlie again. Ah, no, si esta pareja es propia. Dinamita. <laughs> okay, a, a, lo, a los más calladitos puse juntos. A los más calladitos. Okay. Fíjese que la regó porque nosotros estábamos preguntando en, el, en la conversación anterior. Sí, ¿cuánto quería de garantía? No nos contestó. Estamos haciendo ah, four years. Four no, years, teacher, I, come on. I had some problems with my microphone. Yo sí les oh, estaba sure. diciendo, pero no, no sé qué. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. sorry. Okay, go ahead. Number one. Showtime. Okay. Uh, Charlie? Okay. How are you doing today? Great, thank you. What can I, what can I do for you? I need to withdraw some money. How many would you like to take out? I need to withdraw $300. Which account would you like to take this money from? I want to take it from my check it account. Here you go. Thank you very much. Can I do anything else for you? No, that it be all. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And now let's see uh, number two. I will need, let's see. Okay, Edgar, who was your partner, my friend? Number two. Hello? My partner is Manuel. Okay, Edgar and Manuel, go ahead. Okay. How are you? Okay. No, no ah, How are you? Ah, I am fabulous. fabulous. What can I help you with? I need to make a withdrawal. And how much are you withdrawing today? Yeah, uh, three hundred dollars. What account will you like to take this money from? Take it from my checking account. Uh, here, no, here's your $300. Thank you so much. Uh, will you be needing anything else? That is for today. Okay, perfect. And for number three, let's listen to Okay, Helen, who was your partner? Mercy. Sorry? Mercy. Mercy. Okay, equipo de dinamita. Conmigo. Y enojada, conmigo. Sí, mañana. Mira. Es que a mí me tocó con, ca con carito, pero no, no problem. No, pero de Helen, ¿quién fue tu compañero? Who was your partner? Ay, perdón, teacher. Este, 
Elsie. No sé, ¿con quién practicaste? Who was your, your, your partner? Con Elsie, con Elsie. Con Elsie. Elsa, Elsie, dijiste. Elsie, Mercy. Yo, ah, Elsa. Sí, perdón, teacher. Parece que eh, Mercy salió con el machete con todo, ¿eh? Ok. Ok, no problem. I'm sorry, Mercy, I'm sorry. Ok, Elsa and Helen, showtime. How is it going? What is it going? I think it's okay. What did you need? Lo siento, teacher. Okay. I would like to uh, with, with drawing. Así es, teacher. Uh -huh. How much money would you like to withdraw with? I want to take of three hundred dollars. Which account are you making this withdrawal from? I want to take it from my checking account. All right, here is your three hundred dollars. Thanks a lot. Is there anything else that I can do for you today? No, thanks everything. Thank you. Okay, very nice. So now you know how to set up a checking account or a bank account, how to deposit and how to withdraw, how to retire. Yeah, tres cosas, three things related to bank, relacionados a los bancos, okay? So that's a uh, positive because that's part of the conversation that we have. And we're about to finish. So Maritza, uh, today is, is your... It's your 10 minute session, okay, Maritza? And I'm going to check the attendance list and say goodbye. So, Ana Mercedes, merci, hello. Present. Thank you. Andrea. I'm here. There. Charlie. Okay, Charlie. Telepáticamente, te comunicas. Carmen. Present teacher. Hasta anticipa Carmen, hasta antes activa el micrófono. Otro nivel me llega. ¿Qué ya se quiere ir? Ok. <ríe> Claudia. Present. Thank you, Carito. It's me. You, Maritza. Present. Claudiana, Claudianita. Bye. Goodbye. Edenilson. Ok, Edenilson, ah, uh, what? Over there. Edgar. Good night, teacher. Good night. Elsa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Danielson. Thank you, Elsa. Damari. Present. Present. Bye bye. Helen. Okay. Present, teacher. Good. Kevin. Manuel. I'm here. Thanks, Marlon. Present to. <laughs> Thanks, Susie. In this time, never say goodbye like Bon Jovi. Okay, never say goodbye. La canción me la dedicaron una vez. And then Jasmine, hello. Okay, I guess they are kind of busy. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow, uh, my friends. Have a good night. Rest. Descansen, pero no en paz. Solo descansen, okay? So, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Okay, Maritza, tell me, um, is there anything you want to talk about? A review, maybe, um, or a uh, specific topic, un tema en específico, algo que te gustaría que revisáramos. Okay, I need to activate your microphone. Excuse me. Eh, yo siento que me, me cuesta bastante eh, cuando, por ejemplo, pone el, el listening, eh, me cuesta bastante entender. Eh, el, Entiendo ciertos, porque por ejemplo ahora yo escribí en the afternoon 
is very different, pero in the afternoon era complemento de otra oración anterior y is very different, era como como otra oración uh -huh. o un ¿cómo se dice? Okay. Eh, pero eso me cuesta me cuesta bastante determinar la oración y por ejemplo lo que estaba preguntando usted ahora sí me preocupé cuando preguntó cuál es la diferencia entre lo que escuchamos ayer y lo de ahora ah, porque no yes. recordaba Yes, uh, but that is for maybe we, if we have any idea. It is not that you have to remember everything in specific by detail, but it is just for how a comparison, okay? Between, because the, the audio was very different related to the content. For example, yesterday, the person was uh, complaining, se estaba quejando, complaining about the office that it, it, there was no order, there was a TV, the, the, the desk and all those things. And now this person was saying that this office was very ordered, very neat, bien limpia and very nice, right? So that's why. Maybe it's related to content. Es relacionado más que todo al contenido para que tengamos esas funciones. Okay? Pero no era necesaria, ¿verdad? Que, que, te, que te acordaras al 100%, ¿ok? okay. But... No, o sea, pero si lo leemos en español, pues si, lo, si, lo recuerda, si lo recordaría, pero en inglés es lógico que no, no mm -hmm. recuerde exactamente. Sí, sí, solo, solo va. Pero este, tú normalmente sí te recuerdas lo que vemos en las clases anteriores, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Tú tienes la noción. Sí. Mm -hmm. Más o menos. Ok. Más o menos. Uh -huh. Ok. Este, es... Entonces, eh, aclararme, entonces, tal vez repasar lo que estábamos viendo con lo de la canción, el, los eh, adjectives, pronoms, uh -huh. um, cosas. Ya, eh, ya, ya te digo. Uh -huh. Ok. Here we have um, subject pronouns, todos estos. Object pronouns, tenemos possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns, ok. Ahora, también tenemos adjectives, ¿verdad? Que tú me dijiste mm -hmm. uno, tenemos adverbs, que adverbs hay diferentes tipos, pero tenemos que son los más comunes. En español sería de tiempo, de lugar, de... Mm, exactly, yes. Tiempo, de lugar, de modo. Mm -hmm. So those. Pero eh, normalmente ahorita no hemos visto todos los adverbios porque los adverbios son un poquito más complejos ya porque modifican un adjetivo, otro adverbio o pueden modificar la oración. Así que si te das cuenta por el momento, solo hemos visto dos tipos de adverbios. Los que son, digamos, de, de frecuencia, always, usually, often, y si te das cuenta, lo, los usamos bastante. Never, usually, often. Mm -hmm. Yo los utilizo bastante. Y los que son los adverbios de modo, por ejemplo, los modales que son, por ejemplo, frequently, actually, currently, todos los que terminan en L y la Y. ¿Sí te acuerdas de esos? ¿Verdad? Entonces, ajá. Um, después vamos a ver los demás. Uh, verbs, regular and irregular and demonstrative pronouns. Que okay, ya los tenemos ¿verdad? ahora. También es, es importante identificar si es presente, pasado. Por eso yo te decía, si estaba en pasado, en presente, ¿verdad? Porque estas estructuras gramaticales están en las canciones. Ahí están. Y normalmente uno las canta y, y, y no estamos conscientes de que estamos cantando o que la gramática está inmersa en eso. Por eso es que estamos haciendo estas actividades de manera pues, más detallada. ¿Ok? Ahora, este, ¿tienes dudas con respecto a esto? ¿A esta parte? Mm, no, realmente sé cómo se usan, porque es lo que más le enseña a uno cuando estudia en la escuela. Sí, ay, sí, mi, pero ay, en la escuela ay, nos ponen un montón solo oraciones y todo eso. En cambio, uh -huh. pero también es importante usarlo en conversaciones y ya, ya en la práctica, ¿verdad? Por lo menos para, que se, para ser consciente de qué es, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
Ok. Eh, bien. Si tú quieres, veamos la parte del listening. Ok. Uh -huh. Bien. Tenemos esto. Uh -huh. Permítame. Voy a ver si te pongo otro listening. Si no, lo voy a... Déjame ver. Ok. Bien, te voy a, voy a leerte un poquito de eso y a ver si tú me captas. Ok, um, voy a leer un, un, ¿cómo se llama? Extracto. Y tú me dices qué puedes captar de, de, de lo que escuches, ¿ok? Bien. Sería de esta manera. Ok, vamos. I like this photo. It was taken a long time ago, possibly in the 1960s or 1970s. I know it was taken so long ago because of the clothes the people are wearing and also because the office looks so old fashioned. Everything in the office is so simple. There's no modern technology, no computers or fax machines or photocopiers or anything such as offices don't really exist now. Do they? Okay. I'm going to read it again. The will de nuevo. I think this photo was taken a long time ago, possibly in the 1960s or 1970s. I know it was taken so long ago because of the clothes the people are wearing and also because the office looks so old fashioned. Everything in the office is so simple. There's no modern technology, no computers or fax machines or photocopiers or anything. Such offices don't really exist now. Do they? Okay. Yeah. Tell me. Um, I think he's uh, talking about the old office mm -hmm. in the past yes. uh, without computers and, and uh, antiquado old antigua fashion. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. no sé qué más decir yes that's it eso es eso es. ya te voy a mostrar ¿Ya? I think this photo was taken a long time ago. Possibly. Pero cuando dice this photo, no está hablando de foto. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo sí. no? Está, está describiendo una fotografía, siempre. Mm. Possibly in the 1960s or 1970s. I know it was taken so long uh, ago because of the clothes of the people are wearing and also because the office looks so old-fashioned. Eso es antiguo, old-fashioned. Everything in the office is so simple. There's no modern technology, no computers or fax machines or photocopiers or anything. Such offices don't really exist now, today. Entonces, hasta aquí, porque aquí va al otro párrafo. ¿Ya ves, Maritza? Sí, sí, captas. Captas la idea. Y no solo captas y entiendes la idea, sino que lo dices. Obviamente, eh, yo les digo que escriban las oraciones o frases porque es importante ubicarse pero lo importante del listening del audio es que tú captes esa idea y sepas de qué estamos hablando normalmente tú sabes sí. de qué estamos hablando pero es bien difícil captar todo palabra por palabra ya, entonces yo hago ese ejercicio porque si te pregunto a ti por ejemplo imagínate les pregunto a todos, ¿qué, ¿de qué se trata el audio? Todos me van a decir lo mismo. Todos me van a decir, ah, se trata de que esto no le gusta, ya. Pero si yo les pido frases, oraciones, entonces 
todos van a participar y me van a decir cosas diferentes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, mm -hmm. ese es el objetivo. Porque si solo les pregunto de qué se trata el audio, con dos participaciones, ahí me lo dicen todo. Y los demás me van a decir lo mismo. Entonces, quiero que eh, la habilidad de ustedes se vaya al detalle, a ciertas palabritas. Ya, entonces van acomodando su mm -hmm. oído y lo van adaptando ya para que después pueden escuchar un audio súper largo y van a captar a detalle de qué se trata, ¿ya? Entonces, sí, Maritza, está bastante bien, estás bastante bien, ¿ya? Solo que no te preocupes porque eh, tampoco se va, vas a anotar todo al 100%. ¿En cuánto tiempo está uno a, más o menos hablando? Porque, porque o sea... A veces uno puede captar la idea, pero expresar una oración, armar una oración, o bueno, una oración tal vez no tanto, pero armar un ah, sí. pues. Vaya, vaya, este, te, voy, te voy a explicar de esta manera. Hay ciertas etapas. Entonces, lo que normalmente la gente, según estudios y lo que yo he visto según mi experiencia, las personas pueden hablar inglés, aprenden a hablar inglés en un año, de un año a año y medio o dos, depende, hay personas que lo hacen en menos de un año, depende con la frecuencia que tú estudies, que, te, que, que practiques, que escuches listening, que, que intentes hablarlo, y porque la pena de ustedes ya no tienen pena ya, 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 ya pasaron esa barrera inicial, siempre hay pena, pero la principal ya la votaron, entonces eh, todo es un proceso ¿verdad? entonces hay una parte que se llama silent period que es el periodo silencioso. Es cuando tú sabes muchas palabras y gramática, pero no lo dices. Entonces, uh -huh. es una etapa en la que tu cerebro está decodificando toda esa información para estar más seguro. Y cuando tú estés más seguro, vas a estar como perica hablando. Pues, a todos uh -huh. nos pasa. Maritza, okay. a mí me pasó. Hola. Es que a mí, yo estaba estudiando y yo decía, ¿por qué no me sale nada si yo intento? Obviamente, antes no había tanta tecnología. Cuando yo estudiaba en la universidad, no había tanta como ahora, que hay, que hay un montón de recursos. Entonces, después eh, te das cuenta que estás hablando en inglés y te pones a pensar, hey, qué bien, estoy hablando en inglés y lo estás hablando eh, eh, inconscientemente. Entonces, es un proceso. Pero sí, te aseguro que en un año, año y medio, sí, sí, en menos puede ser. Pero depende de la constancia, depende de qué tantas palabras te aprendas, depende de los contextos, porque si te das cuenta, mucha gente solo aprende un contexto, solo hablar inglés con respecto a ciertos temas, y a mí me interesa que hablen inglés de diferentes temas. Si hablan de diferentes temas, entonces ustedes ya van a saber diferentes tipos de vocabulario, van a poder dar tus opiniones. Imagínate, Maritza, ¿cuánto tiempo tienen conmigo y cuántas preguntas no les he hecho de opinión? Quiere decir que la próxima, cuando alguien, otra persona te pregunta sobre algo, ya vas a tener una noción de qué contestar de tu opinión. ¿verdad? Un día Entonces, llegaron unos, unos gringos a la librería y me preguntaron cómo pudieron, no me pudieron preguntar cómo llegar al lago de Coatepec. Me enseñaron una foto ajá. entre inglés y español, les pude decir, yo creo que llegaron. Ah, vaya, ajá. ajá. De, pero sí, o sea, cuesta y se pone uno como medio nervioso. Sí, es, es, que, es que mira, yo, yo considero, Maritza, que te pusiste nerviosa. Entonces uno mm. siente la presión. Ya, pero no es que sea súper difícil, entonces lo, también los gringos deben de entender que deben de hablar despacio, así como que si le habla, igual como cuando uno le habla español a ellos, uno le habla como que si fueran niños, con un vocabulario mm. sencillo, entonces así tiene que ser. Entonces, me imagino que les dijiste, por lo menos con... Sí. Algunas palabras se les decía en inglés, otras les decía despacio en español cuando no me acordaba, Ajá. pero me entendieron. Ok. Creo sí. que me entendieron. Vaya, pero por lo menos ya es el primer, uno de los contactos que debe tener, y vas a tener más contactos. Poco a poco, ya vas a ver. Ya vas a ver, Maritza, poco a poco, ¿viste? Entonces, ¿qué te sirva de experiencia? Tener una idea, imagínate, te vuelven a preguntar eso, la próxima vez ya vas a tener, ¿verdad? Ya tener por lo menos una noción qué decirles, ¿ya? Entonces, todas las experiencias sirven para eso, ¿ok? Bueno, Maritza, se nos acabó el tiempo, sí, ¿verdad? gracias. Eh, sigue adelante, estás aprendiendo bastante, me gusta que, que te siento más formal para hablar, más suelta, estás más suelta, poco a poco vas a ir más bien. Okay. Gracias, buenas noches. Bye, bye.